Hi guys, it's me. I am Cameo on Horse, and I've noticed a lot of people asking me how I make my layouts and what I use to make them. And I'm here to help you guys. I want to show you how this is all done. Um, I believe that, you know, since this new thing happened and we're allowed to sell our graphics, that why not just flood horse with mini graphics and just, you know, make a stand. So I think that everybody should have the opportunity to make their own since we can't even make a profit off of them anymore. So first things first, if you don't know what Photoshop is and you don't know what GIMP are, Google them because you're going to need them. You can do this with paint in Microsoft, but the quality is not going to be as good at all. So as you can see, I have this layout here. You know, some people ask me, how in the world did you do that? I get a lot of questions about this layout. It was easy. Let me tell you that. And all I did was I used Photoshop and coding these layouts as simple as pie. Now I'm going to give everybody a little glimpse at my HTML so people don't think that I'm doing something special. I code everything myself. And you go here and this is all hand coded. Okay, I type all this myself and it takes a very long time. So, now what I'm going to do, go back to my page here. Okay, so I'm going to show you first. If you don't have Photoshop, you can download it. It's free for 30 days. So you just go to Google. That's a little Olympics thing going on. It's kind of neat. Um, anyway, and you're going to go Adobe Photoshop and please, 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 use Adobe to download your products. Do not use any other website because you'll regret it. You'll get viruses. Just just use Adobe. Promise me. Okay. So you want to download the free trial version of Adobe Photoshop. Now they have CS6. I don't use CS6. I have CS5.1. Photoshop's coming out with something new all the time, so I can't imagine it being too much different. And if it is, let me know. Be like, oh, they switched everything around. I doubt they did. So you're just going to open this up. And I am quite sure you guys know how to download things. You know, you grew up in technology age. I'm sure you know how to do it. Download now. Um, English, you choose whatever language you speak. Hopefully it's English because that's what I'm speaking now. And you're going to do it that way. Okay. Now you're going to get your Photoshop. You're going to bring it up. And everything's going to come up here. Okay. This is going to be your blank Photoshop canvas. This is where we're going to start. This is where it all happens. Okay, so first thing is going to be first. We need to find inspiration. We need to find something that we want to use. I am going to use my most favorite horse in the world, quarter horses. I raise them, breed them, ride them in real life. I love them. They are charms, and I couldn't ask for better horses. I don't know whose gelding this is, but he is really nice, and I wish I could meet him. So I'm going to use him for this layout. Always, always credit people, and always use stock people. If you don't know how to use stock, I will start this from the beginning. You go to deviantart.com. That's where I get all my stock, where I use my own photos. Go here. Do not use things like this, this, this. These are on the home page. This is generally what everybody's created themselves. Don't use it. You'll get in trouble. Go here, resources and stock images. If anybody puts anything in the resources and stock images, they already know that somebody is going to be using it. Okay? I just typed in quarter horse. Okay? Because that's what I was looking for. Now, these are all stock images. I was like, oh, I like him. So I clicked on it. And I always read everybody's rules. Okay? It says, always give credit and link back. We're going to do that. Do not claim the stock images as yours and share what you've created. That's very simple, okay? A lot of people are very strict. They don't want their stuff used off of DeviantArt, but this person is generous enough to say, okay, just use it. Just make sure you, you credit me. Their name is Horse Stock Photos. That's pretty easy to remember. The ones that aren't as easy to remember, I always copy and paste the name into a notepad. Okay, so now... You can either download the picture here or just maximize it, save image as, and save the picture. I already saved it for a previous tutorial, so not worried about it. Save it to your computer, go back to Photoshop. Now, you're going to open the picture, which is going to be this guy here. Okay, there he is. Nice and pretty. 
Okay, now, you're going to use the fancy eraser tool because you see all this back here? This is called background. And if that's not erased enough, it looks very tacky. So, you're going to use this eraser tool right here or just by pressing E on your keyboard. Either way, you'll find some lazy Photoshop tricks as you go on. And you're going to open it, and there's going to be three little drop-downs. For this picture, I'm going to use the magic eraser tool because the background is so plain that it's not going to matter. But when you have more complicated backgrounds, this is going to be your worst enemy, and I wouldn't recommend it. But I'm going to use it for now because it's faster. So you just grab the magic eraser, and you just click the background, you just get rid of it, and it'll start to delete it. It's going to delete it choppy because, of course, nothing can ever be perfect for Photoshop. It all has to not be perfect. So, okay, so there's that. Now you see these little sections that are just sticking out here that are just hideous? Yeah, we need to get rid of those. So we're going to use a eraser tool, which is just the plain old eraser. To change the size, you come up here and you drag this little bar. You can make it ungodly huge. Or you can just make it really tiny to where you don't even know what's going on back there. I'm going to make this about 100 so I can see what I'm doing. And you just erase the little spare pixels that are just kind of hanging out. Because you don't want them. They're not your fun. They will mess up your everything on this game if you are leaving them behind. Okay. So from what I can see on this transparent background, I've got pretty much all these little strays out of here. I'm not going to make this all perfect under here as tail. Usually I drag the mane and make the mane longer or something crazy, but we'll hold off on that for now. Okay, so now first things first. We need to make our layout size. Horses layouts are, for the large ones, they're about 820 pixels wide by however tall you want to make them, up to 1,000 pixels. You can make them taller if you want. It's just going to make a scrolly bar, and I hate scrolly bars. So just whatever works for you. And the small ones are 550 by however tall you want them. Mine's already preset because it's all I ever do on Photoshop is make layouts. Um, 810 by 750 is how big I'm going to do this picture. It's going to open it like this. Okay, so there's your little blank canvas. Let's leave this alone for now and go back to our other picture. It's tabs just like on the internet. Now, we know that that's going to be 810 pixels wide. We need to figure out how big our guy is here. Because if he's too big, it's just not going to look right. So you're going to go to image, image size, he's 900 pixels. That's wider than what we have. So you want to make him smaller. So we're going to make him 450 pixels wide. Oh, he's so cute and tiny. Okay, so now we're going to grab the little marquee tool, which is right here in the little dotted edges. You want to highlight from corner to corner, so you have this little blinking whatever it is around his body and the whole picture. You're going to press Control and the letter C, as in cat, on your keyboard. You're going to come back to your other tab with your blank picture and press Control V. Okay, he's black and white because my mode is messed up. Just ignore what I'm about to do right now because you're not going to understand. Okay, so back to what I was saying. After you copy it, press Control V, and he's going to pop up over here. There he is. Okay, awesome. Fine, dandy. We got him over here now. So now you're probably wondering, okay, well, I don't want my background to be gray and white checkers. It's not right. Well, it's not going to be. If you did it like this, if you left it like this and you uploaded it to horse, his the background would be the background that's on my screen, which happens to be the horse color background because I'm kind of a nerd. Um, first things first, he's layer one. You need to make layer two. Always, always use layers. I'm going to go here, layer, new layer. If I'm going too fast, just send me a message on horse and say, hey, can you redo layers over again so I can understand what you're doing? I have no problem with that. And you're going to take hit the second layer that you just made, and you're going to drag it underneath him. So he's on top, okay? So now you're going to go here, you're going to go to the fill bucket, and we're going to make his background the same color as the horse background. So that he can, so that on your layout, it, you know, just, it, it looks neat. I really like it. Okay, so there's that. And you can leave it transparent, but for now we're just going to use colors, because colors are so much easier. So now we're going to create some excuse me, some text boxes. That's this little box here. You can make them rounded on the edges with the rounded rectangle. 
Now I'm going to say let's go with some really pink boxes, just because. Just click and drag and make the square. Click and drag and make the square. Okay, there we are. We made our squares. I'm not going to show you guys how to drop shadow or add or glow or any of that neat stuff right now because it takes forever and I'll make a separate tutor tutorial on that. So, now we're going to put in my username. Or any other words that you want to put in, you use little fancy T right here. You want it to be horizontal. Click here, type in your name. Mine's Cameo. So, oh, you can't read that, it's so little. So let's make this bigger. Okay. So I'm going to do this in a really um, ugly font that I would probably never use on my layout. Let's go with this one, just because I just don't, I don't know why, but I just really don't like that font for some reason. It really drives me nuts. Okay, so Cameo. So there we go. So there's my name. And by the way, we're not zoomed in 100%. That's why everything looks fuzzy. Zoom in 100%, everything will look more crisp and clear, like how it would look on your screen on your layout. Okay, now, do you remember this little guy we brought in? Yeah, we still have to credit the person we stole his picture from. Okay, so... Because if you don't credit it, it is stealing. So, first things first, you're going to go horse buy um, horse stock photos at DeviantArt. Now, yeah, I know you can't see my letters. It's because I got too out of hand with this ginormous text here. And make it smaller. Now you can make this any size that you want. I'm going to use, like I said, this ungodly font. And I'm going to change the opacity so that it's not so bright on my layout. Okay. So there we go. You've successfully credited a picture. So now you legally can use this on horse. Okay. So you can do this. You can use the text tool to name your boxes. You know, news, breeding, layouts, whatever you want to do. And now you're going to save. So you go file, save as, change it from Photoshop, because if you don't, you're not going to be able to find it when you go to upload it, and you're going to lose your mind, because you're going to be like, I've saved this thing a million times. Change it. I always use PNG. It's a good one to use. It just, it's just the best. Use that. Name it. Um, let's name it Cameos Horsey Game. Sure. Okay, click save. Doesn't matter if you interlace it or not, that just has something to do with the layers, don't worry about it. Okay, so we saved it. So now you're going to open your browser, and you're going to open TinyPic. That's what I use. You can use whatever you want. If you have a DeviantArt account, you use it, do it on DeviantArt, whatever works for you. So here's our picture. This one I made today, and I was going to use that for the tutorial, but I didn't like it. So we're going to do this one. We're going to go upload now. Enter their cute little words they always have that make me giggle. And there we go. Now you want to use the direct link. It even says full layouts. So you have no excuses. No excuses, people. Okay. So there you go. Now I always put this in a different tab just so I can see that it worked. And I'm like, oh, okay, awesome. So there's your picture. Great, awesome. You got it uploaded. This will probably take you more time because you're probably going to take your time and cut it out and then... You, you, you just take more time with it. So this is just the general basics for now of how to do this, and I will follow up with another tutorial, and we'll work on we'll work on dragging this mane out to make it look more realistic, like it wasn't just cut out. Um, we'll give this some shadow and stuff like that. So thanks everybody for watching, and I hope to see you next time.